Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jiu-Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back, and I hope you're doing fantastic out there. In this video today, I had one of my subscribers had sent me an email asking if I would do a video on how to wire up two batteries in a series or in parallel. So in this video, I'm going to answer that question. I've got two lithium iron phosphate batteries. So these are LiPo 4 batteries. They are both 12 volt batteries and they're both 100 amp hour batteries. So I'm going to show both wiring configurations. I'm also going to use my multimeter to show the voltages. I'll show you how to set these up. I'm going to use these wires here to connect them. And I also have some notes that I'm going to share with you, the diagrams showing you how to wire these things up. Okay, so right here we have two batteries. They're 12 volt batteries. They're 100 amp each. This setup is going to be wired for parallel. So what we'll do is we'll take the positive from one battery and we'll connect it to the positive of the other battery. And we'll do the same thing with the negatives. Now we'll take the negative from one battery and the positive from the other battery and those are going to be the wires that run to my inverter. Now when you set these up in parallel you keep the same voltage so the voltage doesn't change so you have 12 volt and 12 volt you don't add them you just remain at 12 volt but what you do change is the amperage so we're basically making uh, a battery with larger capacity so we're adding 100 amp plus 100 amp equals 200 amp so we have 12 volts at 200 amps now if you multiply 12 times 200 you will get the watt hour of the battery so this is the parallel configuration this next diagram shows how to wire these in a series so you'll take the negative from battery number one and connect it to the positive on battery number two. You'll take the negative, run that one off of battery two and the positive off of one. This is gonna go to your power inverter. So now, when you do it in a series, you're making a higher voltage battery. So we're adding up the voltages, 12 plus 12. So we're coming up with a 24 volt system but we leave the amp hour the same. So the, both of the batteries, they carry the same amp hour, so that doesn't change. So we have a 24 volt at 100 amp hour battery. And again, if we multiply 100 times 24, we still get a 2400 watt hour capacity. Now when you're using batteries in a series, it's very important to make sure that the batteries are identical. You can get away with a little bit more uh, things when you do it in parallel, but you do want to keep the same as much as possible, but it's more important on a series. Now some of you might be wondering, well why would you want to go in a series versus a uh, parallel? Well that is because in a series, because you have a higher voltage, you're running a lower amperage. So the, the result of this is you could run smaller diameter wires if you had maybe a longer run or something. The downside to a series is you have to have a 24 volt appliance. So your power inverter has got to be 24 volts. Now, when it comes to the parallel setup, this is really nice because 12 volt is the final product even though you've doubled the capacity. So this means you can use a standard inverter but because you're having a higher amperage you do need thicker wires that go from here to your device. So you can run thinner wires here when you're doing a series but thicker wires here when you're going to your device. So now that we've seen it on paper, let me show you what it looks like in real time. Now the first thing that I recommend when you make any kind of 
battery configurations is I recommend charging each battery separately alone to get them both up to the full state of charge. Then you can start playing around with these configurations. The next thing that you want to do is you want to make sure where the positive is and the negative on each battery. So you can see the red indicator for positive and the black indicator for negative. Now if we look at this other battery, you can see that the, the negative is here and the positive is over here. So I'm going to spin this battery around so that the negatives are on the same side and the positives are on the same side. I'm going to wire this, these two batteries, I'm going to wire them up in parallel. So let me go ahead and take my drill here. I'm going to remove these four screws. And starting on the negative side, you want to make sure that the wires that you're using are the same size, thickness, length, stuff like that because you don't want one battery, uh, one positive or negative getting a shorter wire or thicker wire or something like that. So you want to try to keep everything as uniform as possible. So I'm going to go from this negative right here to this negative terminal right here. So we're going to set that flat washer there. Now these batteries are fully charged, so the voltage isn't going to be exactly 12 volts like what we saw on paper. It's actually going to be closer to 14 volts, so we might have something like 28 volts or something when we're finished. So how's that looking? So we got that side done. Now we got to do the same thing on the positive side. So we'll take the positive on battery number one. And I like to just tap right here real quick. Sometimes you'll get a tiny little spark. If you see any big sparks or anything, something ain't right, make sure that you're checking it out. So now you can see that we have both of these batteries wired in a parallel configuration. Now if I turn on my voltmeter and I put the positive on battery number one and the negative on battery number two I should be somewhere around 14 volts or something like that yeah you can see that 14 volts I hope you can see that on the screen there 14 volts so if I was to just connect right here and right here this positive and this negative and run that to my device to my power inverter maybe I didn't have long enough wires or something like that, that would actually be bad for this battery. It would work this battery more than this other battery. So this one would die first. So that's why when you wire these going to your inverter, you take positive from battery number one and negative from battery number two or vice versa. Negative from battery number one and positive from battery number two. Either way, as long as you have one from each side. That will balance out your battery bank. See we have 13 volts. So we have a 13 volt battery running 200 amp hour because we've added those up. So now let me take this apart and we'll look at a series. A series is actually a little bit easier because we only need one wire for that. Okay, so we're going to spin these around. We're going to put them just like they were. So again, let's pay attention where the positive, negative, negative, positive. So I need to go from the negative to the positive right here. And I'm able to do that with these batteries because these are both lithium iron phosphate. So they're both the same chemistry and they're both approximately the same capacity and they're both about the same age so you don't want to take a battery that has been used for long periods of time and put it with a brand new battery it's just not a good idea to do that so here we have the positive from battery number two connected to the negative on battery number one and we're gonna run the positive from one and the negative from two 
and that should give us about 24, 25, 26 volts, something like that. So let's go over here. 27 volts. Hopefully you can see that. I'll try to bring this a uh, little bit closer. Can you see that on the screen? I hope you can. There we go. It showed 27. So see, we doubled our voltage. So we have basically a 24 volt battery. This is one big battery now. And it's a 24 volt battery at 100 amp hour. So when we plug in our inverter, the positive from one and the negative from two goes to a 24 volt power inverter. We would not want to take the positive and negative from one battery. Again, if we did that, we'd be cycling this battery a lot more and it would wear out faster than this other one. So that's why we split the load between the two batteries in this bank that we've created. Well, folks, there you have it. It's very simple to wire these in parallel or in a series. I hope you enjoyed this video. When you connect batteries together, make sure that you're using good thick wires to connect these batteries together. Again, here's a look at the diagram. Feel free to pause. Maybe you need to take a screenshot of that. I hope this video helped you out. Please feel free to leave your comments down below. Like this video, share this video, and until next time, I appreciate you watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.